<laughs> Welcome back to Disgaea PC. Um. After that, clean my room. This is Caffeine Gaming. Gordon, after that, make dinner. <laughs> oh, good grief. What humiliation. The defender of Earth working for the Overlord. I can't apologize enough to my predecessors. Unhappy. <laughs> you look really happy Don't about that. The hero would break his promise now. <sighs> a hero never breaks a promise. All I can do right now is endure this. As long as my faith does not falter, hope remains. Or something. I've got it. I'll just pretend to obey him. I, and are when you... he lets his <laughs> guard down, I'll escape back to Earth. Okay. All right. I just need to have patience. Good thinking, Gordon. You're full of yourself, aren't you? Your eyes are full of hope. You're planning something, aren't you? <laughs> Very perceptive. Uh, no, I'm not. I was just. Morning, Harley. I told oh, hello, you not Jennifer. to call me that. Why not? It's cuter that way. Etna and Flan are going to show me around the Netherworld, and we're going to have a picnic. Why don't you what? come along, Harley? We made a great lunch. Picnic? You must be joking, Jennifer. I, the defender of Earth, am working. Do you have to tell us say that every single time? Are picnicking? But Gordon, today's Sunday. It's a day off for everybody. Oh. Well, that's true, but... Thursday, you'll stay here and work with me, right? Robots require rest, too. Thursday, we'll attend picnic with Jennifer. La la la. <laughs> what was that? Hey, you traitor. There you have it, Gordon. We'll leave the chores to you. Jennifer! <laughs> My goodness. So, I'm mistreating Gordon like go? crap. It's your first time in All right. I can't control this, by the way. The sea of Gehenna. Why? It's so hot over there. What kind of a place is it? It's a big tourist spot. Since you're new to the netherworld, you have to go check it out. Is there a souvenir shop around? Um, it's not exactly the kind of place that sells souvenirs. Straight up can't stop this. They're just going. For, try Sphinx's on Sacrifice Street. They've got Sacrifi nice mummy, mummy heads. heads. See? What? Oh, how adorable. Hey, that's the Nether Year 666 Limited Edition model. I want one. What? <laughs> Too bad. Okay, today it's a picnic at the Sea of Gehenna, and tomorrow it's shopping on Sacrifice Street. Sounds like a plan. I don't know what's happening at this point. Now I just plain pity you, Gordon. What the hell's happening? All right, we're going to the Sea of Gehenna. I will never, ever allow those women to go picnicking on their own. Wait, why not? That's a great idea. We should do it. Are you trying it's to not protect like them? Be going on a picnic, going la la la. Someone has to protect them. Ah. Let's go. Okay, yeah, so the guys. <laughs> the guys want to protect the women. During the picnic. But they really want to go on a picnic. Got it. Okay. Episode ten: Angels, Demons, and Humans. All right. We're not done with the story today, so uh, let's get started here. Hmm, so these are the defenders of Earth. Oh my god! Gordon the Lion is speaking! Calm down, Jennifer. This is the netherworld. Lions can talk here. Humans can only live for about 100 years. What a brief existence. It's not the length of your life, it's the density of it. Yeah, but you're dense in a different way. <laughs> Humans must be tougher than I thought, if one can survive against you. It's not much fun picking on the weak. I let him off easy this time, that's all. Don't get the wrong idea. Uh-huh. Alright, well let's head down here and talk to a few people. You're probably the only overlord ever to have human and an angel as vassals. <laughs> We're special. There were other humans that came to the netherworld, but not like these. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Hmm, what do you mean by that? I mean, we know we have, like, the, um, like, the witch, but... 
Another fragment of my memory returned. It's a memory of when the king died. Publicly, it was reported that the king died by choking on a black pretzel, but that's not the truth. I believed that story too until my memory returned. The king's death was... That's right, the king left to halt an invasion from the alternate netherworld. When he came back, he had lost almost all of his power. I was willing to save him in exchange for my life, the way the queen saved the prince. But the king wouldn't allow it. He told me to live. Then, I can't remember the rest. But I made an important promise. Something really important. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I'm sure we will never have to deal with the alternate world. Never, leather world? Nah, we're fine. Everything will be fine. An angel assassin attacked by humans. A lot has happened recently. All thanks to my evil deeds. <laughs> Alright, so, um, now that we've done that, what I did in between episodes is actually went through the dark orb and sold off a lot of the stuff that we didn't need. So let me go ahead and quickly load that up. Um, nothing really exciting there on, like, any of that. Let me show you guys what I did. Okay, so I unlocked- well, I wasn't able to find the master in the dark orb, and, um... Yeah, we got a couple things here that I might want to go through. I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to go through those or not. Anyway, so what I want to do, um, hang on a second here. We've got arms masters and physicians and dietitians. So let's see here. These guys are all pretty much full up. Let's take. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab that, and we're gonna do some stuff here. So let's go ahead and start with... We're gonna move the arms masters here uh, real quick. There's a reason I'm doing this, don't worry. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna combine the arms masters, because I want those together. And let's go ahead and move those down here. I guess I could have actually- no wait, I don't want to combine them. Because if you see here, um, I've got two different types of gladiators. I've got blue ones and I've got black ones, which means some of them are unlocked, some of them are not unlocked, so we do not want to combine those. Okay, so we've got dietitians and physicians left. Let's go ahead and equip Akira again with his Megaton Punch. And... Hmm. I don't have anybody that's got dietitians. Oh yeah, we need to talk about the new people that we have, uh, which we will do in a second. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move the dietitians onto the psychic sword because who cares at this point. And then we've got some physicians. I kinda wanna move those over. Who do I wanna move those over to? Oh wait, what? There we go, psychic sword. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move... Yeah, we got some physicians on the feather token. I'm just gonna move those onto the feather token, because why not? Move. There we go. Just so we can get rid of some of the items. Uh, we don't need to keep anything else. I think? I don't remember what the physicians do, honestly. I could look it up, uh, but I don't really care. Um, resistance. Ups resistance. All right, let's go ahead and heal on up here. I don't think we're gonna unlock anything, so I don't really care. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so with all of that, I think what I wanna do, uh, let's see, let's get rid of, we don't need the power gauntlet and the dark orb, we really don't need either. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. And let me show you guys the new people we've got here. So we've got Gordon who, um, yeah, we can use these guys, by the way. He's a gunner. He's got two special Gordon Spark Gordon Punch. We've got Jennifer. She's got Star Blaster and Cosmic Arrow. Uh, she uses um, hand stuff. And then we've got Thursday, who is considered a monster. Robo Attack, Robo, Robo Crush, and Robo Bazooka. Um, I really wasn't planning on using these guys. One of the reasons I'm not really using any of the main characters here, uh, simply because... We, I mean, using the other people are more useful because then you get to unlock better stuff. And I think for the most part, uh, the special guys aren't all that strong. So, um, I don't know. 
That's just a personal thought here. You can use them, like, no problem. Like, no one's going to stop you. I'm not gonna stop you. They're pretty good level. They're higher level than we are. All right, let's save here before we get going into, where are we going? The Sea of Gehenna? I don't know. Hey, you make it the Sea of Gehenna, Prince. You are still quite childish. No, no, I'm not. I'm going out to investigate the area. Picnic, picnic, la 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 la. <laughs> so, you are going on a picnic. Yeah, we're going to the Sea of Gehenna and we're gonna start by going to Fervent Melody, okay. We got a bunch of stuff to go through story-wise, so buckle up. It's past the scheduled time and still no word from Gordon. Apparently, even the Defender of Earth was no match for the Overlord. You sound like that even if you're not in, like, Holofarm? Holo He's not the real Defender of Earth. Hey, what? If you had just left it to me, I would have been done ages ago. Are you still carrying on about that? You need to be more insightful, Curtis. It doesn't really matter to me whether he wins or loses. His mission ended as soon as he opened up the route to the Netherworld. Slaying the Overlord was just a pretext. Wait, so who's the real Defender of Earth? Hmm, they're nothing but pawns to you, huh? What an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. I prefer to call them the heroes who sacrifice their lives for the Earth. <laughs> hmm. Gordon wouldn't die so easily. Only I, Curtis, can defeat him. I bet he beat the Overlord already and is enjoying a picnic right now going la la la. I mean... La la la. You're somewhat right. <laughs> I never thought that picnicking in the netherworld would be so delightful. Why are you talking in such a long tone? Is this guy really a hero? I have some questions too. I not really want to say, but I always thought a hero was a bit more dignified. What is with this music? This guy's just a fool. A true hero hides his real identity from the world, pretending to be quiet and weak. Flan, why are you still here? Then, when someone needs to be saved, he appears admirably to uphold justice. You should have definitely gone back to the Seraph now. That's right, isn't it? Well, I... I guess... La la la! You sure? He looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. La la la! <laughs> All right. They're falling for my plan. Now, all I have to do is just play along until I can make a run for- How are you gonna get back to Earth? Serious question here. Oh boy. Your continued existence hinges on an incredibly unstable balance. Do you understand? I am aware of that. Then please, take better care of yourself. I would like to, but I cannot leave them on their own. My power is not limitless. Please do not forget that. You want to take a guess about who that is that he's talking to? I don't know. Leave your suggestions in the comments. Okay, so we've got some stuff going on here. We've got a bunch of guardians. And if you look at the blue squares, because they are all in blue, there's no lifting and invincibility. That makes this battle a little bit more difficult because you can't just like lift these guys up and throw them here. But um, you also can't damage these guys. So we're gonna have to make do. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pull out Akira here and I'm gonna move him here. I'm sorry, try that again. We're gonna move him here, there we go. And we're gonna end turn. So what's gonna happen is no one can do any damage against me. Ah, there we go. Which is good, but you can see that there's a couple people who are on the these non non geo symboled areas. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, let's see. What are you weak to? Fire. What are you weak to? Wind. Okay. I'm gonna pull out my two gunners. We're gonna get the first Spartan. His name is Spartan. All right. Let's get Flan out here. Uh, I don't really care if we get hit in this battle. Uh, as long as we are on the blue spaces, we'll be fine. I just don't care. <laughs> Let's pull out Geronimo here. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know if I wanna use the new characters. There we go. Like, 
I do like Gordon and stuff, but we have like a lot of levels we need to get through so we can upgrade our people. Yeah, as you can see, we're not taking any damage. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and move my allies actually across the way here. Now, trust me on this. Um, I don't think I can get her across. I'm actually gonna put Flan back in the box. All right. We can't do any damage this battle, or this turn anyway, so it's fine. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? I don't have... For the most part, we haven't really seen anything new. But... We probably should turn on the enemy effect so you guys can see Cannonball. Alright, so I'm gonna use Triple Strike on this guy right here. He doesn't take any damage from that, but... We've got those two, and then I'm gonna move. Oh, I actually can't get to him. Oh, he's sleeping though, so it'll be fine. Uh, let's move her, actually, can I move you back? No, I can't move you quite back to the box. Someone is in the way. Yeah, we can't get hit with that, by the way. So it doesn't really matter. There's Cannonball, that's what I wanted to show you guys. That's basically it. I don't think they actually have any other new attacks. We don't have any new attacks. We have a lot of levels that we need to gain. Uh, one of the big things is I'm gonna get her and him up to level uh, 30. So, we're gonna be doing that. Let's move you here. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Fantastic. We move Akira over here. And um, this guy is still here, so that's pretty cool. Let's do some damage. Sleep. Did you fall asleep, dude? Please have fallen asleep. He did not fall asleep, actually. Ah, I kind of wonder. Uh, no, we can use a lion's roar on this guy, so let's do that. All right, so he's in the middle now, so he can take some damage, but I don't think they're gonna get to him, so whatever. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and move her across. Having push attacks in this regard makes this a lot easier. Yeah, he's gonna get hit with minimize. He's not gonna be able to move, but it's fine. I actually don't care. <clears throat> so let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's start by attacking. And move her here, and attack. We're gonna do quite a bit of damage on this guy. <laughs> Fantastic, so she's leveled up, so let's go ahead and just end the turn here. This guy is gonna come across. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move him her here. I'm gonna move him here. I'm gonna move her here. I'm gonna turn Akira. Like that. I'm gonna move forward. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, but nothing of super interest. And then we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go all out again. Just like this. Fantastic. Yeah, this battle's actually not that hard because you are in the middle there. And I don't know. So one of the big things here though, right now, that I need to tell you guys, uh, for this, we really wanna get these two up to level 30. Everyone else is moving along quite nicely. Um, I don't need to worry about upgrading these guys. Geronimo's in a really good place as a strider, but these two I really do want to level up uh, so I can get to their next thing. So we're gonna be doing that I don't know, I might do that in between episodes. It's not gonna take that long. I think they're both actually really close. So one good battle should probably push them up. Uh, no big, no, no problem. As long as they're doing the majority of the damage. Killing, well that makes sense because that's how you get experience in this game. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna be upgrading them and I'll explain everything about that uh, next time on Disguide PC. I hope to see you guys there.